guys, they're not giving me sugar to die. <laughs> I forgot about it. Good morning dito. Kami sa Christ Church. Ayan yung iba yung umaga nila dito video. Ano siya? Um cloudy. So for today's activity is sasakay kami ng coach line bus papuntang uh, train station dahil sasakay kami ng Trans Alpine train. So this will be an epic journey for five hours, I think. So, I want to welcome you all to our channel, Kavias Easy More and Travel. And I hope you all good. So, let's go. See you again later. So, we'll get you all loaded up on it. Uh, get you all sorted. That's good. We are on the way to the train station, so let's go, let's go, enjoy, so lots of construction things done in. I am dreamt I have having a swim in a big orange pool, but then I found out it was only a fantasy. Yeah, starting off straight up, sorry folks, day one people, get used to it. This is what this is what's happening. <laughs> yeah. I haven't got twenty of them, mate. No. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've all. I think we only need fourteen. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. If anyone's got a couple, I got one. Um, so uh, the other thing to mention about the train, everyone, is that they do do a few stops. Now, the first main one is in a place called Springfield. Now, between Springfield and Arthur's Pass especially is where there's some really good photos to be taken. Unfortunately, uh, for about two or three minutes. Um, all right, so it's just to stretch your legs if you wanted to, but you need to get back on because we're there to see. It's just if you want to get some air, and, but they don't count anyone back on. So the safest thing is to stay on. <laughs> way we don't need to worry about it when we get on. But it's all pretty well announced and everything. Um, also, on your seats, there'll be headphones, which you can plug in, and um, they give automated uh, commentary throughout the trip. So there's screens if you want to learn from. Those are the, your options. We arrived now at the train station in Christchurch, so then we to Sakai. We're going now. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't get anyone to do it. I mean, the rehab one's not too bad. I mean, most of the time. You name it. Over home there. Bloody terrible. But, you know, like, my kids were young. I said, oh, well, we'd rather coming back from Sydney. You know, I was really happy. The nice place I grew up in. Yeah. Shopping centre, there's a money change there, and we got out there, and she was closing at half past four. She reckoned. <laughs> it was it was rough. Quite rough, was it? Was it? I, I had a job. I did a lot of flying. When I was younger. Uh, the worst 
one I ever had was flying back from London near, in, in, near Mumbai. And I don't know what we hit, but all of the overhead lockers flew. Right. Oh, it's covered the tree now. That's what he said, you've got to be quick, though. Yeah. Oh, they give this guy up. Oh, yeah. Oh, look quick, Don. Oh, what did you put it away for? <laughs> Don't put it away. He said, you put it away. He said, look at that, wow. Oh, that's lovely, Don. I have the video, yeah. so. Yeah, I like we saw that shape. Oh, yeah. Wow. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, different. Power poles. So you can sort of see a little bit of a track there where it's not as uh, grown as the rest uh, so it's just very slippery then. <laughs> what? In the old days when we used to come over here where there was a length restriction on the road, uh, 12 meters was the only amount. So any trucks and trailers had to go all the way up to the Lewis Pass and it probably three or four <coughs> hours onto the day. Um, but then they put this in and now everybody... In the glacier moves down uh, the mountainside. It actually uh, scours and plucks. Oh, we're going to catch up to the train. Um, as it goes down, so it carves out some of the mountain mud. Now the plucking part comes from essentially water getting into little cracks, and then uh, it ex freezing and expanding, and then a little bit more water went in. Yeah, I'm not sure if you noticed or not, but they uh, coupled three engines on the rear of the train when they got to Arthur's. Uh, there's quite a steep gradient and uh, through the tunnel and they use them as the brakes at the rear of the train and they get down to Oterra or down to here and they uncouple them and um, yeah, those guys will wait for a coal train to go on the front of that coal train to help pull them up the hill. treacherous in its own way, mainly because they're quite windy and really got, you do keep an eye on them. 
Uh, there's not a crazy amount of passing lanes going on narrow roads, etc. Most of the time we have troubles with the um, camper vans, which uh, some people like to call gallstones because they're large and hard to pass. <laughs> but to some of the some of these cars, we're we're the gallstone, I guess. Uh, out of there. 